Hi, hello, namaste, welcome back to VSM Math Tutorial. So, today we are going to start our new lecture series on the concept of Fourier transform and Z transform. So, first I will go with Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform, then Fourier sine transform, Fourier cosine transform, inverse Fourier sine and inverse Fourier cosine transform based on them we will solve some problems okay then i'll move on to z transform concept so first what is fourier transform what is the use of fourier transform see what happens in uh, many engineering problems we may deal with the ordinary or partial differential equations and uh, that uh, partial differential equations or ordinary differential equations are solved under various uh, under uh, various types of conditions so uh, conditions may be boundary value conditions or conditions may be initial value conditions okay so uh, those who are already familiar with the uh, matrices and determinant concept laplace tra uh, transform concept and also uh, normal uh, traditional methods of solving uh, uh, ordinary differential equation See, uh, any differential equation we can easily solve uh, using many techniques. Using uh, applications of uh, matrices and determinants also we can solve a differential equation. Using Laplace transform also we can solve differential equation. And using normal uh, general methods like uh, if the problem or differential equation is homogeneous differential equation, then it is... Uh, usually solved by normal method and general solution what we call it as a complementary function when given so equation is non i mean non homogeneous differential equation then general solution contains complementary function as well as particular integral so like that the solution of some partial differential equations with the boundary conditions can obtained with the help of fourier transforms okay so Fourier transform is one of the finest tools to solve some of the important problems in engineering. So uh, I'll move on, uh, I mean I'll go with the first definition. Fourier transform, it is usually called infinite Fourier transform, also it is called complex Fourier transform, all are same. Complex Fourier transform. Fourier transform, it is also called infinite Fourier transform or it is also called complex Fourier transform. So how to define this? The Fourier or infinite Fourier transform or simply the Fourier transform of a real valued function f of x is defined by this. f is capital F indicating Fourier transform operator f of f of x equals to integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e power i u x dx provided the integral exists. After this particular uh, integration, definitely it is a, a, a definite integration. So after integration, we obtain a solution in terms of x. Uh, I mean, uh, this solution in terms of u. So that is the reason Fourier transform of f of x is nothing but f of u okay now if i want to write inverse fourier transform definition then we have in this form f of x equal to f inverse of f of u that is 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to f of u e power minus i u x du dear students please be careful about this terminology when we are operating fourier transform for any function of x answer should be in terms of u when we are operating inverse Fourier transform for any function of f of u, then answer should be in terms of f of x. Okay, so this is about the basic definition with respect to Fourier transform. So now, with respect to uh, this Fourier transform, we'll solve some basic problems. Okay, in that uh, I can also explain the beauty of Fourier transform. Now I'll take one simple uh, example here. You can see here this particular example find the complex Fourier transform of the function f of x equals to 1 for mod x is less than or equal to a 
0 for mod x is greater than a. Also, they are telling us to find out or evaluate this result. What that result? Integral 0 to infinity sin x by x into dx. So, this is particular part is very interesting. Why? Because usually uh, such kind of integration is uh, somehow difficult uh, uh, using normal method. But using Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform, we can easily obtain or we can easily find out the integration of this particular integral without integrating the function. That is what I told you the beauty of Fourier and inverse Fourier transform. So I will go with the solution part. Let me proceed. Solution. So whenever problem given, the first thing what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to write the formula. Usually formula will get one mark. Okay, so I'll write formula. What is the formula? Complex Fourier transform for given function. Complex Fourier transform for given function is given function it is in terms of f of x. Therefore, f of u equals to integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e power u x dx. You call this equation as 1. Hmm. Now, if you see the function here, there are two function, f of x is split into two parts, x, f of x value is 1 for mod x is less than or equal to a and f of x value is 0 for mod x is greater than a. Okay. Now, in place of f of x, what we are supposed to write and in place of minus infinity to plus infinity, how to split. So usually what happens whenever uh, 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 limits given like this, you should just roughly draw like this. Standard limit is minus infinity to plus infinity. Now I have the interval called minus a to plus a here. So minus a to plus a I will write here. You can see here minus infinity to plus infinity we don't have any functions. If you see minus infinity to minus a we don't have any function therefore this particular function here f of x value is what zero but minus a to plus a we have a function it is defined f of x value is one when mod x is less than or equal to a so that is minus a to plus a less than or equal to a means it includes minus a and plus a so minus a to plus a f of x value is what f of x value is one okay then again a to infinity also it is given mod x is greater than a means it is obvious limit a to infinity so for a to infinity limit is i mean function is what zero okay so now if we rewrite this f of u as minus infinity to minus a f of x e power u x dx plus integral minus a to plus a f of x e power u x dx plus a to infinity f of x e power u x into dx. Now from this I can easily write minus infinity to minus a f of x value is 0. So minus infinity to minus a f of x value is 0. This no need right because 0 into something 0 whole term 0 minus a to plus a we have function minus a to plus a what is the function one that we can retain but again zero to infinity mean, a to infinity we don't have any function it is zero our function value itself zero they have defined therefore this is also zero zero into something zero so based on this i can easily write f of u value is what integral minus a to plus a f of x e power u x into dx it is the single integral we have to evaluate now so minus a2 plus a f of x value minus a2 plus a f of x value is 1 1 into e power u x into dx or it is e power u x e power u x integration is what e power u x by coefficient of x that is u coefficient of x that is i u between the limit one minus a2 plus a because i use the formula integral of e power ax dx that is e power ax by coefficient of x is a okay so here a value is what i u now since we integrated with respect to x the limits are applicable only for x terms so that one by i u i'll write outside so i'll operate upper limit 
So upper limit what happens? X should be replaced by A, therefore IUA. Lower limit minus IUA because X value is minus A. Now I have to simplify it further. So how to simplify it further? Here you just remember the trigonometric formula e power ix, how we will write e power ix, cos x plus i sin x. Same concept we have to use here. In place of x we have au or ua. Okay. So this if I write here f of u equals to 1 by iu. So this is in the form of e power ix. So it becomes cos au plus i sin au okay minus it is again e power minus ix e power minus ix is cos x minus i sin x so this we have to write if i write that so what happens it is cos au minus i sin au okay now you can see here minus i sin au I mean, uh, minus i sin u minus into minus it become plus i sin u so cos a u minus cos a u it becomes zero okay so what happens if i simplify it further f of u equals to 1 by i u into uh, i sin a u minus into minus plus plus i sin a u it becomes two times i sin a u now one i one i cancel so answer will be two sign a u by u therefore f of u value we got so f of u value is what two sign a u by u whenever you got answer it should be highlighted in what boxes now this is one part of the uh, solution of the problem over next we have to evaluate this See, you can see this evaluation part is in terms of x. In Fourier transform or inverse Fourier transform, how to get uh, answer in terms of x? Only by applying what? Inverse Fourier transform for f of u. Okay. So then I'll uh, write inverse Fourier transform. We know that. So what we know? Inverse Fourier transform is what is that f of x equals to so formula i have given already that formula we have to write 1 by 2 by integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of u e power iu x into du remember whenever you are operating inverse Fourier transform the integration is always with respect to u so this f of u we already have here that you have to substitute so f of x equal to what 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of u is what 2 sin a u by u e power i u x into d u as i told in fourier transform as well as inverse fourier transform we are not at all integrating the function not at all integrating the function that is the beauty of uh, Fourier and inverse Fourier transform. You can see here, this we have to evaluate sin x by x between the limit 0 to infinity dx. Okay. So now you can see here this result sin x by x almost in this form only. But this form, this term is not there in the result. So I have to make, I have to eliminate this term. Eliminate means I have to make 1. So how to 1, how to make it as 1? There are two possibilities either u equal to 0 or x equal to 0. If I take u equal to 0, what happens? It becomes 0. Sin 0 is 0. Whole term becomes 0. Not possible. Then I have to take only x equal to 0. That is the possibility. Okay. Therefore, to get the required result, I will put let x equal to 0 in the above equation. So what happens if I write f of x, so just if you take x equal to 0, you have to check the f of x value also. What is f of x value? f of x value, they have given 1 for mod x is less than or equal to a, 0 for mod x is greater than a. So f of x equal to 0 means function value is, I mean x equal to 0 means I have to consider. See, here minus infinity to minus a, 
he in between this interval i will not get uh, zero but minus a2 plus a i'll get zero because if you generally write minus 1 2 plus 1 in between minus 1 2 plus 1 zero is that so minus a2 plus a definitely zero will come what i have taken x equal to zero so zero is here means its function value f of x value is what one therefore for x equal to zero for x equal to zero our f of x value becomes what one 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity 2 times sin a u by u. So this becomes x equal to 0 means what? It is e power 0. e power 0 value is what? 1. So here I have to write 1, 1 into du. Now almost similar to the required uh, result, but in the required result, what we had? Limit minus, I mean 0 to infinity. Here what we have? minus infinity to plus infinity. So what I'll do, I'll cancel this to this to, okay. So I'll, I'll just uh, uh, continue here only because of space. Uh. So left hand side, what we have? One. So one equals to, right hand side is what? Minus infinity to plus infinity. Sine a u by u into d u because it is one. Now, in the required result, uh, instead of uh, 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 x, we have u here that we can easily replace. But limit is 0 to infinity in the required result. But here minus infinity to plus infinity. So how to make it as 0 to infinity? We have one property in integration. So what is that property in integration? Or else I'll write here. Minus a2 plus a f of x dx equal to 2 into 0 to a f of x dx when f of x is what e1 function e1 function means if i replace x by minus x here i should get what positive f of x here instead of f of x what we have f of u what is f of u f of u is sin a u by u if i want to check whether it is e1 or odd i have to replace u by minus u so what happens it is minus of sin a u because sin of minus a u is minus sin a u this is also minus 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 cancel i'm getting f of u only okay therefore after replacing a by minus u i'm getting positive of f of u therefore it is e1 function this is e1 function so for e1 function result is what this therefore 1 equal to 2 into integral 0 to infinity sin a u by u into du okay so now uh, in the result i have x here i have u so a is extra term so what i'll do i'll take uh, let uh, a equal to 1 and u equal to x i'm taking this substitution i'm shifting through to also this side so what happens it is integral 0 to infinity okay so integral 0 to infinity you write uh, uh, remaining uh, formula so integral 0 to infinity sin x by x into dx. Uh, here one thing I have forgotten. I have forgotten this pi. I have not written pi. So 1 by pi is remaining everywhere. 1 by pi, 1 by pi. So here also 1 by pi means 2 by pi. So it becomes pi by 2. Therefore, integral 0 to infinity sin x by x into dx value is what? pi by 2. This is what exactly the beauty of Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform. This is what we required also. See here in the entire solution part after using inverse Fourier transform, nowhere we are integrating the function. We are just simplifying the terms by common sense. Okay. So that is the reason Fourier transform is one of the beautiful tool to solve such a difficult problem. This is one simple example integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx value is pi which is a simple example like this we have humpty number of problems in mathematics okay so i hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video so in the next class uh, i'll solve uh, some more problems on fourier transform okay so until that you practice this particular problem so thank you we'll meet uh, with the next video